And awesome. Welcome everybody to our Tuesday night group conference call. This is so exciting. It is the last night of the month. We have a ton to celebrate. This is Sensi's best month ever. Crazy that it's June of 2020 during a pandemic. It is Sensi's best month ever. But we have an amazing uh, look at us with 34 people on live tonight. That is exciting. And anybody that is in the Help Me Help You series, watch your mailbox. Tammy and I have something fun that we sent you, um, except for seven of you that we miss. I mean, Shane miscounted. So uh, yours will be a day behind going out. But otherwise, we are um, in full swing with that series. So it's great to see some of your faces, many of your faces, and you guys are in, um, in that series. And so we're pumped about that. And tonight, Tammy's going to walk us through some transition information that we need for tomorrow. Also, calling your attention to, and Tammy, you may reiterate this, but Letterboard goes on sale tomorrow morning at 5 a.m. Eastern time. Eastern, right? Yes, 5 a.m. Um, Eastern Standard Time. Because um, a workstation uh, will be down for two hours from yep. 12 to 2 Pacific Standard Time. And so I'm just going to put the plug out there. If you have any pre-orders for Letterboard, um, don't wait to put them in. That is a friendly nudge nudge. Um, all right, Tammy, tell us about transition and uh, start us off. Okay. So this is like Becker um, referred to on one of her posts this morning, kind of like Christmas Eve. Um, waiting for the new catalog to actually come out. And so those of you that have not been through a transition, um, this is kind of an exciting time. For those of you that have been through transitions before, a lot of this will be um, old news, but um, providing some tools that might help you be a little bit more organized as that transition occurs. And so um, tomorrow when the workstation goes live at uh, 5 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, that's when we will have access to a lot of the transition material. Um, they did say, however, to uh, reduce the back or the um, slowdown of the system. They will, um, the catalog will be out there, but some of the other items that they put into our marketing will slowly be released throughout the day. So don't expect that everything will be out there. We will have that viewable version of the catalog to actually take a look at, and the items will actually be out on the um, Sensi Success Store um, to order. And so what I really wanted to talk about, um, and these will be posted out on the page, the Together We Sent page, to help you make it a little bit, uh, a little bit more smoother as far as the transition goes. So um, I don't know if you can see this. Um, basically created a checklist um, of things that you need to do when you transition um, into the new catalog season. So basically, um, you know, purchase the new catalogs, purchase new testers. For those of you that are new, if you currently have the scents that are in the catalog right now, the testers, then you will want the transition set. You will not need the full set. Um, if you're, uh, it's been a while or you've just reinstated, then you'll want to purchase the full um, tester set. And so I will put a little bit more information specific out on a page tonight. Um, so you know exactly what to look for tomorrow. Um, talking about sub sub subscribing uh, customers to Sensi Club. So tomorrow, when we see the discontinued list, this is a time for you to start thinking about any of those customers that have favorites that are going away. This is the time to talk to them about getting those into Sensi Club. We don't want them to think that they know that, um, so we have to prompt them. Hey, Sally, notice that your favorite scent, um, lemon verbena, is going away. Now's a great time to add it into your Scentsy Club um, so you can continue to get those things. So I've added that on to the transition into the new catalog uh, checklist, as well as making samples. Um, this is a great time to start thinking about what samples, um, when you get your hands on some of the uh, waxes or other items that you want to make samples of to get into the hands of your customer early on in the new catalog season. Um, when it becomes available, we will want to print the incentive tracker because obviously as we go into this new selling season, um, 
when it's SFR, we'll find out where the um, incentive is and what the um, rules are for that. And so you'll want to print an incentive tracker because I think this year we are going to have a lot of people on that incentive wherever it may be or whatever it may be, even if it's not a trip. Um, and then you want to look at buying additional marketing material as well as making additional marketing material. So basically, um, sometimes you can buy it right out of the Sensi Success Store, but it may not meet your needs of everything that's out there. So you want to think about what products are new and how you would like to market that. And so think about it now because July, consider July your prep month to be ready to go for August 1st. Um, and then also make sure you have your join, pa um, join packets ready um, and start looking at parties. Get your basket party items ready. Do you have enough trans uh, testers? Do you have everything that you need for your basket parties? And start scheduling parties. I've left a couple spots on there for you to add other things that you feel that are important for your business to actually um, put in there. So that's one of them. The other items that we actually, I don't know, Melissa, whatever else you can go to as far as the other um, items on there. So marketing material to make. Once we see that catalog, what you're gonna wanna um, do is look at the items. Um, what items do you really want to market? Put it under the item and what do you wanna make? Do you want it to be scent circles and you wanna make a fundraiser flyer out of it? Um, list those down. And um, we may even have a chance on one of these calls or um, through some of the pages to um, share what people are looking to have made and maybe we can get together and help out um, each other based upon mar uh, marketing material that needs to be made. Um, so that's what I put this together for is think about what is not in the store that you think would be helpful for your business and we can pool our assets together to help get those uh, made and ready for the um, August 1st launch. The other one is same, same type of concept, except it's what's out there. You may not want to you know, be able to purchase it right away, but it may be something down the line as you budget, um, things that you know that you want for your business that are introduced as new products um, out into the Sensi Success Store. And so, or maybe Vista um, or any other places that you feel based upon now that you know what's in the catalog, what you need to market that and where to purchase it. So this allows you to just keep a running track of that um, because budgets may be tight and you may need to spread that out over time of what items you need to purchase. So that's what this one is for. Um, other things to do. This is just a blank sheet. This is for you to start thinking about what does it take uh, to get ready for the new launch? It could be simply organizing your office, um, prepping, things because um, Melissa and I were talking about it. When our offices are messy, our brains are scattered. And I don't know how many others of you are the same way. And so that might be something that's on the list is uh, clean the office, you know, get these things done. But this is where you can start um, kind of putting all of the things that are in your brain of what you need to get done onto this sheet so you know that um, when it gets a check, it's done and you can move on to the next item. And then the last one I think is the Sensi Club. So as we were talking about, once we get our hands on those, um, the discontinued list, and I'm sure we'll be posting those out tomorrow into the Together We Sent page, this is your time to start thinking about your customers and what products that they have ordered in the past, what their favorites are that are going away. And this is where you start listing this because we can't expect them to be mind readers. So we need to let them know, Sally, Lemon Verbena is going away. Now's your time to add it to your Sensi Club if you want to continue to get that. And so this is a way just to keep track of those to make sure that you've put that in front of them as an option. Um, obviously, if you've not seen some of them, many of us on here, it looks like have been doing it for a while. But just so you know, when we see these tomorrow on there, this is what the um, product sheets look like. They come in a pack of three. Um, great deal. A lot of people, we put them into their recruiting packages, um, you name it, flyers. Um, as soon as they're available, instead of sending a full catalog, a lot cheaper to um, mail. If you have any of these left over at the end of July or right now, a great way when you get that discontinued list is you can highlight these of the items that are going away 
and include a little note to it. And this can become your discontinued list that you mail out to your customers. So don't let it go to waste. Use these um, to help share uh, what's going away in the catalog and let your customers know. Um, the showcase brochure, um, larger than the catalog, has bigger print in it, easier to see. So some prefer these if you're doing events, if anybody has events that aren't canceled, that is. Um, but these are another uh, way to, to share Sensi and what's coming out. Again, much cheaper than the catalog. So it's kind of your preference on what you prefer. Um, a lot of people like these because of the larger print. They can see the warmers a little bit better and it goes into a little bit more detail than the product sheet. Um, and then of course our catalog. Those are kind of the main things that will be there as well as the, um, the testers. But I will post a flyer tonight, uh, a Facebook post tonight that tells you how to find all of those items when you go out to uh, look for them on the Sensi Success page um, to place an order tomorrow. Does anybody have any questions? Yes, Rebecca? I posted this in the chat. Can we enroll people in clubs or do they have to go in to make a club? Because I only know it from like the customer perspective. They go in and enroll themselves. Okay, thank you. Yeah. They go in and enroll it and on that sheet that I, you know, that I'll provide to you guys, is basically just did we ask them and then later you'll see if they enrolled in the club you know based upon the order being placed on your uh, website so when will new stickers be available well <laughs> um you know here's the thing this is not like past transitions <laughs> we are in um you know everything is kind of isn't this, this is also our first year where transitions in July, right? Correct. So this is all kinds of new for us. Um, technically new stickers would become available when the new catalog comes. Actually, I think they would roll out the stickers August 1st. Yes. But I, you know what? I don't know. It's going to be sometime after July 1st because things are just different right now. Um, can we enroll people in clubs or is it some, okay. Um, they aren't discounting transition this month, correct? They are no. not. Um, no. Those, those uh, people that enroll this month will actually get July 1st to July 31st will actually get to the fall and winter testers, but they do get spring and summer and fall and winter catalogs um, in it, as well as um, there is not a 10% off, like we said. So please yeah. be aware of that. Um, just because of everything selling out, there's really no need to no. discount things. Uh, things Which are is going good. well. We don't, we don't need the 10% off. Which everything is selling just fine. Um, okay, Cindy Lab, I see your question. I'll answer that separately. Uh, what else? Anybody else have any other questions regarding transition or anything to add? The one thing that I will say is, well, is that Mary Jane? Nope. No. I don't know who that was. I was going to say one of the big mistakes that I see people do is when the new catalog comes out, they haven't taken out discontinued testers. So when you start sharing that new catalog come August 1st, the first thing that you need to do is if you're, you are sharing testers with anybody, you need to make sure that the testers that are in there are the ones that are currently in the catalog. Because I've had many people come back and say, I did not realize such and such, can't I get this? Um, don't fall to that because you'll be scrambling and have some very disappointed customers. So um, I start switching it over towards the end of the month when I know um, that I no longer have any parties that need to go out or I'm not sharing those testers with people. So make sure you switch out your testers to the current ones um, when you start sharing the catalog on August 1st. And Tammy, did you touch already, uh, forgive me if I missed you saying it, about not sharing the catalog too soon? I did not, I did not, but that is a good point. 
Um, a lot of consultants, as soon as we get our hands on it, actually want to share because it's excitement. We want to share everything that we know. But what in turn, I mean, there's, first of all, I'll caveat it with this. There is nothing in policy and procedures that says you cannot. However, years of experience between consultants that have been doing this for a while shows that what you do by sharing it too early is you um, hurt your sales for the month of July because people say, I'll just wait until I can get it, the new stuff in August. So if you don't share it too soon, um, they're still going to buy what is available in July. And then they will again in August when the new product comes out. And throughout the month of July, we'll start sharing some graphics that you can share on your page um, that show glimpses, not full things, but peaks interest of the things that are actually coming out in the catalog. That has been my experience has been the best policy as far as transition goes. Agreed. So. Agreed. And um, here's a little tip. So based on the chat, can you add catalogs and testers to a party order on the workstation? Yes, you can. And um, so Lisa says you can add pretty much anything from Sensi Success to a party order in your workstation. You just need to start typing in the name of the product and it should pop up. So let me give you a little hint or tip that I do. Anytime that I'm adding business supplies to a party order that's going in, I have created kind of a dummy guest whose first name is family and second name is store. Or you could do first name Sensi, second name success. But I always put my supply order underneath that fake dummy guest so that at the end of the year, I can run a report of all the all of the purchases made under that person so that I have all of my write-offs for my taxes. So it makes it really simple to keep track of your business supplies if you name that a fake cart. Um, it's not it's a real cart, but you just kind of dummy name it family store. And then I just run my family store list uh, at the end of the year and then I have it for my taxes. So that is just a a little tip that I've picked up along the way. The benefit to adding your business supplies to a party order is if your party order is free shipping, then you pay free shipping on your business supplies. And so that is really the benefit. I try to add my business supplies anytime that I have a qualifying party that will be free shipping. So um, if you, okay, so if you wait, they will buy in July and August. Yep, that's what Tammy was saying. Focus on what's available now. It's a good practice. And right now with items selling so quickly, we should all be in good practice of this anyways. LZ, thanks. It's awesome. Um, if we hit level one incentive, do we have to do anything to order the kit? Uh, I don't think so. Um, I would no. think what happens, Melissa, after the audit is they would reach out. Yep, agreed. And then, yeah, you would receive an email. Uh, okay. Anything else transition wise? We good on transition? All right. How about any so, pointers real quick for those that are placing the order tomorrow? Say that again. Um, for the uh, warmer of the month, do you have any yeah. tricks or tips for those that are placing to get in there quick to speed up the process? Um, I would just say get up as early as you're willing to do it. Cassie? Um, prep your workstation to have your customer name entered. So also you have to go in there and just type what you need. So that way you don't have to load your customers plus enter the orders. Yep. Um, make sure you. Melissa, is it 530 our time tomorrow? 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Eastern time. I let my customers know that it's probably going to go on back order, so please be patient. Well, the it's just, yeah, it's the earlier the better to order. Also, if you're putting them in, if you're ordering them, if you're placing the order for them and they're not going in placing it for themselves, and you're putting it in as a party order, let's say you have 11 of them to order, make sure that you know what you're taking for your free and half price items on that party. Have that figured out ahead of time so that you aren't sitting there after you enter the 11 for your guests, trying to figure out what your free and half price items are going to be. Um, 
Also, a good thing to do would be if you do have pre-orders, and maybe some of you have done this, if you do have pre-orders um, or, or people that, uh, you know, said that they want to order one, you can always set up a party on your workstation that is called Letterboard Warmers or, and then send that party link out to those people that um, you're taking, that you took the pre-orders for, for them to be able to shop and then they'll buy it from that party link. Does that make sense? I, know, I don't know if I explained that well enough, but um, you can use that link. That's a great way of uh, kind of funneling people into that party. All right. Can I take a left turn back to transition for a second? Because I don't think you mentioned it. Okay. okay why so don't you take a Why don't you take a left turn off that palm tree background while you're at it? Yeah. No. Nope. Making I'm us all feel sunscreen as rocking as yours. Yeah. Um. So if you're like me and prepared for all these events and things and have a bunch of stuff that you have not gotten out into people's hands, possibly, don't just get rid of it. Um, you can always put a little sticker on it that says, this is not the most current catalog, but please reach out to me for a new one and kind of use those when it makes sense to, at least for the first part of the next catalog. So that way you're not just throwing them in the trash can and like wasting that money. So you can do it for all of the things that Tammy mentioned earlier, the product yep. list, the showcase brochures and the catalogs. Yep. Absolutely. And this is a great time to not even get them into the hands of customers, but leave them different places, doctor's offices where there's waiting rooms, et cetera, that you never know who's going to pick them up. Um, so, you know, in your COVID travels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, awesome. Okay. Andrea, I was just curious, can you um, tell us what our current group GWV is for our overall group. Can you pull that up really quick? I sure can. Because I have it, I have it for um, my group, my entire group, but I want the number from you. So those of you that don't know, so Andrea Hatch is my upline. And so all of us fall in her organization. And then, um, there is, so she's kind of mama bear. And then, uh, and then Nicole, who's sitting in the palm trees. Nicole is one of Andrea's directors. Um, kind of a sideline from me. Um, you, most of you guys are in my organization, but our GWV, the number that I'm going to tell you is a part of the number that Andrea is going to give us. I just wanted to give um, you kind of an idea of how amazing our group is and how powerful we are. And I think that I am going to venture to say, I think that this is my personal best month ever as far as our GWV with means group sales, our group sales. So Andrea, do you have that number? I do. Okay, so, tell me. Yeah, so total group. GWV is one million seven hundred forty-one thousand three hundred and fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So here's what I want you to know. So Andrew's entire group, which includes us, has sold two point three million dollars in retail sales volume. That's two point three million dollars in Sensi products in the month of June. Unbelievable. Now our group that most of you are, well, you're a part of Andrea's group as well, but our little segment of the universe is, um, we're at $894,000 of that. I've never personally hit uh, my group having $1 million in retail sales. And darn it, we're really close to that, $100,000 away. And I think we're going to be able to do it over the holiday season this coming fall. So the momentum from March, April, May, and June is incredible. It's going to propel us forward into July, transition month, SFR month, which always pumps us up. And then we dive right into, can you even believe 
we're going to be having small uh, fall winter scents here in a month. Can you even like, I'm having a really hard time wrapping my brain around that because I feel like summer hasn't even started yet because of COVID. So I'm still thinking like it's, it was just March, like yesterday. Now it's almost July and we're about to have fall winter scents. Like, wait, this is craziness. And then you, if you go into a store, like Becker and I went into uh, Target and they still had their Easter and their St. Patrick's Day close out, you know, after the stores were like opening back up from, from, so we're like, we are in the twilight zone. What month is it? I'm seeing Easter stuff. It's June. This is crazy. So anyway, we are a powerful organization within Sensi. You guys make up this organization. I am so proud. I am so pumped that I get to work alongside you and with you and next to you. And um, it's, it's truly an honor. And so I'm so, so, so excited. With that being said, let me do a little bit of recognition. Um, and Nicole, did you want to shout out? Because I know that you have you have a couple of girls that are on, and even if you just want to shout them out and thank them for getting on, that is, uh, we're excited that they're here. Yeah, I certainly can. So I have Allison on here. Her beautiful face isn't in the picture. I think she just got done work. So Allison Schick is here um, and she's excited and feeling super motivated. She just sent me a message privately. So um, she is pumped. And Tara Springer is on from my group. So she is here too. They are both killing it. They've both been having consistent months, consistently active, and they're doing a really great job. So I'm excited to see where this transition and fall takes them. Awesome. Well, and I have to shout out you, Nicole, too, because um, Andrea and I like to talk about how amazing you are and how you just, you have a contagious enthusiasm and we are honored to have you be a part of us and so thank you. Appreciate you. You're so sweet. Thank you. Well, you're welcome. I appreciate you. Um, okay. So here we go. We have 29 promotions happening in uh, the month of June. So those um, of those 29, 23 of them are essential consultants promoting to certified and six of them are certified consultants promoting to lead. Your names will be a part of a graphic tomorrow on the Together We Sent page, shouting you out. Um, I am really, really excited. I have to call attention to Amy Hogarth. Um, I don't know if she was able to make it on tonight, but she joined in 2010 and she just promoted to lead consultant. And so anybody that says that, um, you can do this business and uh, you know, you can't capture a vision even 10 years later, you can. And the best part with Amy is because she has stuck with her business this full time, she has built that customer base that she, um, she has been servicing this entire time. And she just um, sponsored two amazing, amazing consultants and she promoted to lead and so i'm super proud of her because again even after 10 years she um you know when you put your mind to something and you start carving out a vision you can make it happen and so i wanted to to give her special props um but i am also really proud of you six lead consultant Brittany hubbard you promoted katherine myers tracy pullen brenda vasquez i'm happy to see you on here we're really proud of you. And Lisa Garcia Covarubias. I think I got that right. Um, all promoted to lead. So you guys will see your names on a graphic tomorrow with, in addition, um, this month, I will be sending out happy mail to the top six consultants at each title. And so you'll wait till tomorrow and you will see um, on your grip. So I know on the Together We Sent page, many of you posted your happy mail from last month. Um, the next set of happy mail will be going out starting tomorrow. And it is top six at each title. And so um, I like to switch it up. So you never know 
what uh, my Happy Meal is going to recognize on a month-to-month -month basis. I've really upped my game this year because now that my travel budget has been blown completely to shreds, I have zero money, yes, that I need for my travel budget for things like Superstar Director Summit and Sensi Convention and leadership and my even my world tour was canceled, so I never even got to attend it. So I'm taking my travel budget and I am moving it over to a Happy Meal budget. And so who wins? You guys. So every month I will spotlight and showcase different consultants and uh, tomorrow you will find out if you are in the top six of each to receive June's Happy Mail. So I am going to leave you, I'm going to leave you hanging for you to check the page tomorrow and see if you make the list um, for your title. So I'm excited about that. We also had... Um, 16 consultants that sold over $2,000 in the month of June with Mary Jane Radloff leading the way. She had um, out of, let me just grab this number real quick, out of 725 consultants in the group that I was pulling this recognition for, um, she is the top seller with $5,000 in sales for the month of June. So hardcore, awesome. Um, she is a bingo party Zoom rock star, and so um, she has personally touched every one of the products in that $5,000 and gotten it into her customers' hands, and so um, I'm proud of you. You are consistent. I want to tell you something funny about Mary Jane. When she first started, um, I will never forget where I was standing when you asked me this question. Um, she had asked me, she, Mary Jane was very adamant in the beginning that she was, she just wanted to know what the minimum requirement was to stay active as a consultant. She wanted to know it was, and she got stuck on it. And back when she joined, it was 150 every three months, right? It wasn't even 200. And so 150 every three months. And if she asked me once, she asked me 16 times what she was going to have to do to get, okay, I just need 150 every three months. Mary Jane does 150 while she's sleeping. So, I mean, the fact that she is pulling in uh, annual sales and $5,000 in the month of June, I commend you. You are outstanding. You are an amazing director, and we are so proud to have you as part of us. So, you are so welcome. Um, let's see. Jody Herring was not far off. She was right on your tail, Mary Jane. Jody Herring had $4,900 in sales. Uh, Amy Lewis, $4,300. Lydia Galindo, $4,200. Kimberly Frazier, $3,600. Cynthia Abraham, $3,600. Um, Debbie Kuna, $3,000. Cassie DeForest. Cassie, you have been rocking consistently. When is the last time that you had this many consistent months selling $2,000? Not if ever. in this time period of the year. <laughs> yeah, certainly not in this time period. But I mean, really. I might have... get it in October, November, like in the fall, in a random. And is there is there something you can tell us as to why? Like, um, how, I mean, I don't mean, uh, you know what I mean. Like, right. what, what are you doing I... different or what's different? I'm working from home because of COVID. So I do a little double duty when I'm doing my normal job because I sit in front of a computer eight hours a day. Um, people are at home and using their stuff more. So in trying the approach of, not that I do it a lot evenly, but sharing, not selling, trying to do different type of posts. Um, God bless Tammy's post this morning with the, the Halloween picture thing. So I posted that and I gained a like $70 order because a lady ordered it plus four bars. So that I mean, is awesome. And trying to just, you know, reach out to people about, um, you know, do you need more of this? Or I see this is on sale or different things like that. Um, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been over 2000 PRV in these months in 
quite a while. Well, so. and it's, it's sharing. Mm -hmm. It really is sharing. It's yeah, sharing it how you use the products. It's sharing on social media primarily right now because right. we aren't in front of yeah. people. Normally I do vendor events and I haven't done those since the 12th of March or whatever the last Saturday was that I was able to do one of those. So um, yeah, getting creative. Yep. And it is, um, wait, I want to just, somebody said, uh, Great job, Katie. Officially active. Way to go. Keep it up. Julie. How do you get so many sales? Well, and so right now it really is. I mean, it's the consistency of sharing, but not just posting stock images or graphics of products mm -hmm. on your pages. It's truly about engaging people. It is about creating experiences over social media, showing your products in use, showing how you interact and use our products. Um, those are what, like Sarah, um, you posted just a little bit ago, the stylized aloe warmer. I did. The, I found it actually in that Facebook group about uh, making flyers or something. And the one lady was like, oh, my mom just got her aloe warmer in and look at what she did with it. And so she had this metal oblong tin and inside of it, she had her aloe warmer surrounded by more rocks and more succulents. And I posted to my VIP group about how I was definitely ordering that warmer now, now that I've seen it styled in a way that I just fell in love with. And my one hostess that just ordered it was like, I got this, right? Like, this is coming to my house. And then I had two other ladies who were like, I need to know how to order this right now. Yep. So, all I did was share a picture of it done up. So much, so much of what causes interest, interaction, and, and gains traction is when you're showing how our product can be stylized. I will never forget the very first time I showed a picture of how I cluster my warmers together in twos and threes in my house. So barely anywhere in my house is there ever one standalone warmer by itself. It's typically in a cluster of two or three similar design or complementary decor um, warmers. And I will never forget when I shared and somebody said, I never, ever would have thought to put more than one warmer together. And I typically will put them on three different levels and they're next to each other and it becomes a statement. It isn't just a Scentsy warmer, you know, off by itself. Anybody that tells me, oh, I have a Scentsy warmer, and I'm like, one? Yeah, I have a Scentsy warmer. That's all I need. I'm like, hmm. I have one in like one corner <laughs> of my house. And now, granted, I sell it, and it's probably a good thing that I do sell it, um, you know, because I have 23 warmers on my first floor of my house. So anybody that tells me that, you know, one warmer is enough, uh, um, I beg to differ. So, uh, but that's another thing. Success comes in believing in the product that you represent and sharing how you use it. You are never going to have success selling washer whiffs if you don't use washer whiffs, or if you haven't at least tried them so that you can give your own testimonial. If you have not smelled a particular wax, it's going to be hard for you to recommend it to somebody if you don't know that it smells really, you know, it, what, it's, what it smells like. Or if you haven't used counter clean to clean something other than your kitchen counters, try it. I was so bummed. Tonight I gave Kinsey, my dog, a bath outside while the kids were splashing around in the pool and I didn't have anybody to take a picture of me giving Kinsey a bath using the uh, orange um, I don't even have it in front of me. Orange, whatever the scent, the dog shampoo scent is. There was the orange, orange zest, orange zest and nectar, whatever. So, but I was so bummed because I'm like, I don't even have anybody. This is like a perfect opportunity for me to showcase the product. I had the bottle of Scentsy dog shampoo next to me and Kinsey was all lathered up and I'm like, this stinks. I need a personal photographer to follow me around. But anyway, so. All right, I'm getting off on a tangent, but um, it is 10 o'clock, top of the hour. We are going to, Brittany, one second. We are going to segue over 
Um, I wanted to do a watch party with it, and so I think I will. I'll start it on Together We Sent. Um, so if you hop over to Together We Sent, if you want to, um, I will pull in the Heidi and Orville live video there. And then we have the ability to chat with one another while we're watching together um, that end of the month. Of course, not mandatory. You don't have to. You Whatever. But, you know, I'll be there. I'll be hanging out and listening to what they're going to they're gonna say. I think they even posted a hint. I'm thinking when Orville posted just a little bit ago, I think he said Lacey might even be on tonight um, from home office and him and Lacey both had New York Yankees hats on. I don't know who's going to New York today. <laughs> no offense if you're from New York. Um, I know we have a couple Jersey girls on here tonight, but um, I don't know who's going to New York uh, anytime soon, but I do feel like that is some kind of a hint uh, for Orville and Lacey to both have Yankees hats on. So we'll see. Maybe they're going to tell us a little bit about the upcoming incentive. Who knows? They always reveal at least one thing on their end of the month lives. And so I'll start that over on the Together We Sent page. If you want, go ahead, grab that drink. Doesn't matter. It's water. Uh, that's what I'll be drinking for the sunburn. Um, but I'll see you over on Together We Sent. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for investing in yourselves and your business. And here we go to July. Okay. Oh, Brittany, you had something. Hold on. Brittany, what's up? Unmute, unmute. We were just doing shout outs and I have an amazing consultant that I need to shout out. Um, this consultant started on June 14th. Um, and now is $88 away from $1,500 in PRV and has gone above and beyond to get warmers, Sensi Buddies, what have you for her customers that are now placing repeat orders. So she is on the Zoom call. Artie King has oh, done yay. phenomenal for June. And I just wanted to make sure that like everybody, you know, gave her props because this is her first month and she's only a half a month in and you're doing and she's doing amazing like she's been doing this for years so i just wanted to share all of her hard work because she has done well, fun and here's what's really cool too is that Brittany, when you started your sensi career you shot out of a cannon and really just you, you were like i'm doing it and i am gonna make things happen i am 395 dollars away from completing my sensational start level three i've completed uh, my shooting star that is incredible that is incredible i think one percent of sensi consultants hit does that stat sound right andrea and tammy that stat sound about right i think one percent of all sensi consultants that ever join hit sensational start level three so Brittany, earn it do it. I, I'm trying so Do hard. It. So that is my next goal is to hit that sensational start before my 70 days. You can and do it. Just following right behind me. Phenomenal. That's and so awesome. I just, I just to like, yep. You guys, so, that's awesome. But you know what? That too is a really good example of how, um, leadership is contagious. And when I say leadership, I'm saying that some people get really scared of that word, but realistically, you're setting such a great example and such a great pace that she has she has an excellent uh, excellent footsteps to follow in. And so um, you've been a great example, and that she's doing phenomenal. So congratulations to you both. Thank you so much. Can you say bye to the Sensi girls? Can you talk to them? Say, say bye, Sensi girls. Hi, man. Can I can I say something really quick? Yeah. Um, I just wanted to add that, ironically enough, the day my starter kit arrived in the mail, I was that same day I was able to order my shooting star kit. That is fantastic. Awesome job. Very cool. You guys, way to go. Goodbye, June. Hello, July. I'll see you on Together We Sent if you're staying up with me. Bye, guys. <laughs>